Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the host of Afterburn, Justin Hancock. And today is a very special day because we have reached our 10th episode of Afterburn. Yes, I said 10, and we couldn't have done it without all of you, the fans of the show. Afterburn is now the number one show in, uh, in WWAX Productions currently. And we plan on keeping this going and outstretched as far and as long as we can. But since it's our 10th episode, as you see I don't have the normal food products here at my table, I wanted to try something different. I wanted to make our 10th episode special. I went recently went on a trip to Millen, Georgia with my family and friends and I stopped at their local Dairy Queen. So I'm going to take you to an exclusive in look clip of my trip to Dairy Queen as I review their wild buffalo sauce. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a very special edition of Afterburn. I'm here in Millen, Georgia at the local Dairy Queen and a couple of my friends requested that I try their wild buffalo sauce. And I have a regular double cheeseburger combo here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to smother my burger in this sauce and see if it really has what it takes on the heat meter here on Afterburn. Oh man, he's getting it in there. He's really going for it. I'm all in for special foods on this show. Alright, here we go. This is it. Here we go. This is the wild buffalo sauce. Initial reactions? It's getting there. It's getting there on the heat meter. There we go. It's burning my throat now. <laughs> pretty good. It's not really hot, but I can feel it burning back in my throat. What would you give it on a 1 to 10? 1 to 10, I'd give it about, about 6. A 6? That ain't bad. Not For a Dairy Queen. It's actually a good sauce. All right, official review of the wild buffalo sauce. What do we got? Official review for myself for Dairy Queen's wild buffalo sauce. Six. six out of ten. That's it. What do you think, Mikey? Well, that concludes my clip to Millen. I reviewed the wild buffalo sauce. As you can see, I had a few guests with me because, of course, I was on the road and I had friends. It wasn't as in-depth review as I usually do because I was on a time schedule. I had a show to be at. That's why I was in Millen on the road. But now that I'm here sitting down looking back at the clip, I can give you a little more in-depth review of the Wild Buffalo sauce. It did, in fact, sting the back of my throat, but it wasn't very hot. It was like a, you know, basic hot sauce. And of course, you get that little stinging throat if you don't take a swallow of tea or something but overall it was really good and I enjoyed it I've tasted sauces way up there and I'd have to say the wild buffalo sauce is in the middle you know maybe above the middle I gave it a six but overall it was very good and I enjoyed it and I plan on going back to Dairy Queen on my next trip to Millen and hopefully eating some more of their wild buffalo sauce. But until next time, as always, I'm Justin Hancock, and if you enjoyed this special edition of Afterburn, leave a comment, rate this video, like it, subscribe, tell me what you thought, and if you, the fans, liked this style of episode, maybe we will do more on-the-road videos of Afterburn in the future. But until next time, as always, I'm Justin Hancock, and I will see you back here in the Afterburn studio for another edition when we experience the heat.
This has been a WWAX production.